Hey guys, today we're going to be making some curls with a clipless curling iron. And this is the package it came in. It's made by Conair. And as you can see, there is no clamp on it. And so you use it a little bit differently than you would a regular curling iron. And the one I'm using is an extra large. So it's going to make more like waves instead of tight ringlets. And so what I usually do is just part her hair in half and curl the bottom section first. Okay, since there's not a clip on this curling iron, what it came with is this little glove, and it's supposed to keep you from burning your fingers, and I do recommend that you use this, because if you don't, I promise you're going to burn yourself. And the one thing I'm really not that excited about is these fingers are not covered, and maybe I'm just uncoordinated, but I always burn these two fingers as well. So I do wish that it came with a full glove. But anyway, the way you do this is you just want to part out a section of hair and then you turn the curling iron upside down. And I have this set on the lowest heat setting for her hair. It's at 310 degrees and it goes up to 400. If you have thicker hair, you can turn it up, but I don't want to damage her hair and so I have it turned way down. And then I've also put some heat protectant on her hair and that is very important just so that you don't damage it. So to make the curl, what you do is turn the curling iron upside down and then you start winding the hair from the top. And then again, you need to watch those two fingers that aren't covered by the glove. And you just kind of hold the hair on there with your hand. I usually keep it on there for about five seconds. And then when you release it, just kind of release it into your hand. You just pull the curling iron up. Since there's no clamp, you don't have to unclamp anything and there's nothing to snag. And then I usually just hold this hair here until it cools a little bit so that it makes a nicer curl. And then when you release it, that's the kind of curl you get. It's more like a natural wave. If you're wanting tighter ringlets, I would recommend just using a regular curling iron. But this one definitely is better if you want looser waves. Okay, so I finished the bottom layer of curls and I'm going to start on the top. The bottom layer, I wasn't as concerned about how curly it gets because it's not going to show as much. But I am going to try to make a little bit tighter curls here on the top. And so to do that, I'm going to take smaller sections. And then I'm going to hold the curling iron on the hair for a little bit longer. So again, I'm just releasing the curl into my hand for a couple seconds so that it can cool. So as you can see, if you take a little bit smaller sections, you do get a better curl. Alright, so we finished curling all of the hair on her head and it took us about five minutes. And so that is what you can expect this curling iron to do. Those are the curls that you can achieve with it. And then we're just going to do a quick hairstyle. I don't want to do too much with this because the curls are pretty and I want them to show. But all I'm going to do is just bring this hair over to one side and then I'm grabbing a small section from underneath that hair on each side, one in the front and one in the back. And you do want to grab hair from underneath, not on top. And then this hair is going to kind of act as a barrette or an elastic to hold this hair together to the side. And what I'm going to do is just make a tiny fishtail braid with these. So I'm grabbing a small section from one side and I'm crossing it over to the other. And then again, I'm taking a section from the opposite side and crossing it over to the other side. And I'm just going to repeat that. I'm not going to braid this all the way down the hair. I'm just going to make a small fishtail braid, maybe just a couple of inches long, and this is just to hold the hair together. I'm making it pretty loose, it's nothing tight. I think I'm just gonna go down to about right there and then just tie it off. 
You're probably going to want to use a clear elastic or an elastic that's the same color as her hair. I don't know what happened to all of our clear elastics, but I'm having to use a white. That's all I could find. All right, so that's the finished style. You can leave it just like that if you would like. We are going to dress it up just a little bit with this clip. This is a Bendini clip, and it actually came with two of these. They're little roses. I think they're really cute. But it comes like this. It's flipped out, these little plastic prongs, and then you stick it in her hair and then just flip those over, and it'll hold in just like that. I am just going to turn this upside down and place it where I want it to go, stick it in, and then just flip it back over.